Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Today we are reviewing a very exciting La Tafa fragrance and that is Mohassin Crystal. Um, this is the box, this is what it looks like. It's an interesting design of the box and at the back we have a small description which I am going to read to you because it's priceless. So, Mahasan Crystal, a perfume that evokes the glamour of the Moulin Rouge. Mm. The fragrance opens with the vibrant notes of clementine flowers blended with cassis and nectarine. The floral heart, heart blends orchid and orange blossom. The dry down brings harmony with soft musk, vanilla, sandalwood and cedarwood. There's a lot going on here. I don't think, I think I should stop this video. They have said everything already. I don't think so. There is more to say to that. Anyway, the actual packaging is fantastic because it comes with these two things. I wasn't expecting two bottles when I ordered this. And apparently this is what they call perfumed spray. I don't know. It, I thought it was deodorant. It's not. <laughs> and then we got the bottle itself, which is a normal looking bottle. For ones with La Tafa, it looks quite normal and quite ordinary. Not saying that this is an ordinary fragrance because it is quite niche in, in the smell. So first of all, what does Mahazen mean? I think it's like something charming, beauty, something with good quality. I'm not sure. But that's along the lines that it wants to say. And it says crystal. Hmm, we'll see why it says crystal. So, I'm going to spray a little bit of it on my skin. I think this is such a playful fragrance. Along the lines of the, of the you know, the, the scent, uh, sorry, the notes that were descriptive in the actual paragraph that I just read. I think for all... All in all, overall, this is a musky fragrance. It has a bit of vanilla, but it's very, very fresh. And it's very playful and it's quite shampooy. I love saying shampooy because it smells a bit clean. It smells like what you would smell in a shampoo. This is not a bad, this is not a bad thing. However, it doesn't smell expensive. I forgot to say. The cap is metallic for once with La Tafa. Not for once, for twice. I've, I've spoken about another metallic cap. Anyway, you're not here for the cap, you're here for the content. So this, this really reminds me of Versace crystal. Versace bright crystal, sorry. And I think that's why they added the crystal. I think is the orange blossom in it. Orange blossom is quite a particular flower because it's the white floral, yes, but it also can be paired with other elements and make it smell, I don't know, super fresh, super duper fresh. I'm not saying that this is a very orange blossomy fragrance. I don't know, I can't quite tell what the actual main element is in this one. All I can say is that I carry this fragrance, I particularly carry this because I think it's so cool. I don't know, I felt like I got a freebie for some reason. But I carry this when I go to the gym and it makes me feel like really fresh, clean and you know, like vibrant. I think it's a very sexy fragrance because of the lightheartedness it has. And I would say that this is perfect for summer. Summer mornings, when you're just getting ready, you just came out of the shower, Mahasin Crystal is the one for you. It retails at about $15, not even, 12 is that one of the cheapest, uh, most affordable La Tafa fragrances. And I think it's within reason because it's not as durable. But then again, 
all the ingredients that we saw and that we talked about are not super durable. So for that matter, it is fair to say that it's not gonna stay in your skin for long. Having said that, when it stays on your skin or in your clothes, it smells absolutely delicious, super lovely, super florally and a bit fruity as well. So do check it out if you want to smell like a garden. There you go. I'll see you in my next video. I hope you like this one and give it a thumbs up if you did. Bye.